2024, the Waterline Toolpath has been enhanced to provide better control and efficiency. Let's take a look with some examples. In this example, we've started the part with a raw block, we've applied roughing, and end with the resulting stock model. In operation two, the part is then flipped, re-roughed again, and ends with the resulting stock model. We've added a finishing toolpath, but if we backplot this and we take a look at what happens here, we see we have unnecessary tool motion below the part as the material was removed in a previous operation. Specifically, we have a lot of air cutting. If I copy down this toolpath and we investigate the new features, we can go to the stock page and we can detect now, detect stock breakthrough. And if I go to cut parameters, we can add cuts and allow partial cuts. Adding cuts will add cuts between the existing cuts that don't complete a full perimeter pass of the part. If I calculate the toolpath, we can see the results. If I turn on the stock model, we'll be able to see where the stock ends and where the toolpath ends. Now that I backplot, we can take a look and we can see the waterline toolpath stops wherever the material is, all the way around, and only goes where material is. If I turn off the stock model, we can investigate the extra cuts. If I turn the toolpath back on, we can now see added cuts in between the cuts to define the part better. And that's new in Mastercam 2024.